The next element is timbre. Now, there are two variations of timbre. One for musical instruments and the second one is for the voices. Now, timbre is also known as tone color. It refers to the quality of the sound that distinguishes one voice or one instrument from another. Now, I have said that there are two variations of timbre. Now, let us start with the timbre for musical instruments. Now, there are four different families of musical instruments. Therefore, there are also four variations of timbre if our faces are musical instruments. We have the strings, woodwind, brass instruments, and percussion instrument. Now, when it comes to voices, there are also four variations of timbre. So, we have soprano, alto, tenor, and bajo or bass. Now, the next element of music is texture. Texture is the number of layers that we hear in a composition. Now, there are three kinds of texture. The first one, we have monophonic. Monophonic texture happens when we hear one main melody without musical accompaniment. Now, what is an example of a genre which is under the monophonic texture? Remember, one main melody without musical accompaniment. So we have a cappella. So the source of the melody are the voices of the singers and they do not have musical accompaniment. Now the second type of texture is what we call homophonic texture. So when we say homophonic texture, we hear one main melody and one main musical accompaniment. So what is an example of a genre of music under the homophonic texture? One main melody and one main musical accompaniment. So we have acoustic. So acoustic is an example of a genre under the homophonic texture. You hear one or two main melodies from the singers and one musical accompaniment, which is the acoustic guitar. So the last type of texture is what we call polyphonic texture. So when we say polyphonic texture, we hear two or more main melodies and two or more musical accompaniments. Now, what is an example under the polyphonic texture? Okay, bands, rock bands. It's an example of polyphonic texture. So you hear two or more main melodies coming from the singers and you have two or more musical accompaniments. Now let us continue with the last part of this discussion and we have the genres of music. Now the first genre of music is classical music. Now the word classical when used to describe a musical style is used by popular culture to distinguish this kind of music from jazz, rock, or other contemporary styles. Now, the word classical actually is a period of time in Western art from 1750 to 1830. So, classical does not only pertain to music. You have classical literature, classical paintings, and etc. So, all of the works of art that was created from 1750 to 1830 belong to the classical period of Western art. But when it comes to music, it describes the music or the classical period describes the music of Joseph Haydn, Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart, and early Ludwig van Beethoven, as well as other composers who lived at that time. Now, classical music is rooted in secular or religious music. Now, going back, some of the famous musicians and composers who lived during the classical period. The perfect example is Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. Now, Mozart is considered as a child prodigy or a child genius. He was born in Salzburg, Austria, and was already competent in piano and violin at five years old. And at 17 years old, he was already the chief conductor and composer of the Austrian royal family. Now, what is the characteristic of a classical genre? Now, classical music greatly emphasizes homophonic 
melodies, meaning that there was a single melody that all the instruments played instead of the layered melodies of the Baroque period. Now, this allowed for classical pieces to be more powerful, whereas Baroque pieces were just pretty in comparison. Now, the second genre of music is rock music. Rock music is a broad genre of popular music that originated as rock and roll in the United States in the early 1950s. Now, this type of music has several subgenres, such as hard rock, metal rock, and progressive rock. Now, rock and roll has its roots in 1940s and 1950s rock and roll, a style which drew heavily on the genres of blues, rhythm and blues, and from country music. Now, what is the characteristic of rock music? The sound of rock music is traditionally centered on the amplified electric guitar, which emerged in its modern form in the 1950s with the popularity of rock and roll. The third genre of music is metal music. Now, heavy metal or simply metal is a sub-genre of rock music that developed in the late 1960s and early 1970s, largely in the United Kingdom. Now, the bands that created heavy metal developed a thick, massive sound. Now, what are the characteristics of metal rock? First one, it contains highly amplified distortions. Second, there is always extended guitar solos. Third, it is characterized by overall loudness. Fourth, emphatic beats. And when it comes to performance style, the genre's lyrics and performance styles are sometimes associated with aggression and machismo. Now, when it comes to the local music scene, an example of an artist who practices the heavy metal genre is Slapshot. The next genre is what we call hip-hop music. Now, hip-hop music, also called rap music, is a music genre developed in Bronx, New York by inner-city Latino and African-Americans in the late 1970s. Now, in this type of music, the bass is the main instrument and is a combination of country music and traditional African music which often includes chanting and eventually evolve into rapping. Now, hip-hop isn't only a genre of music. It is a cultural movement, which started as a form of rebellion of the Latino and the African-American people against the dominance of quote-unquote white music or country music during the 1970s. Now, as a cultural movement, hip-hop has five sections. The first section is emceeing or rapping. The second section is DJing or turntabling. The third section, when it comes to dance, we have break dancing. When it comes to visual art, the hip-hop movement started graffiti writing. And when it comes to fashion, the hip-hop movement influenced the so-called street fashion. The next genre of music is jazz. Jazz is a music genre that originated in its modern form from the African-American communities of New Orleans, Louisiana, United States in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. Now, complex and strong beats feature this type of music, and the main instruments used for this type of music are cornet, trumpet, and violin. Now, the birth of jazz was a result of the inequality and discrimination that the African-American people was receiving during the 1800s up until the 1920s, even though slavery was already abolished by the 1900s. Now, by the early 1800s, the Atlantic slave trade was booming, 
and it brought almost 400,000 West Africans from the Congo River Basin to America. Now, during their spare time, the West Africans gathered socially in the Congo Square in New Orleans, Louisiana, to relax and enjoy through communal dancing and singing. Now, African Americans were not given the opportunity for leisure, such as going to music bars. That's why they have decided to create a music and a bar for themselves where they can enjoy. Hence, jazz bars were created where they are the performers and the customers. The next genres of music are trance and techno. Now, these are the types of music that are created through electronic musical instruments, generally referred as synthesizers. Now, both are known as fusion or electronic dance music. It is generally produced for playback by disc jockeys or DJs who create seamless selection of tracks called mixes.